all of a sudden Thomas Tuchel came in, Chelsea seems to you know, Chelsea was all over the place. They don't know where they were going. They were a team of lost uh they were like destitute, okay, at some point in football in, in this season's football. Yeah, that your reaction already told you that you're just a fan. But now all of a sudden they seem to have a direction they know what they are aiming for and not like top four is not out of place for them top four is within reach and they look from the form of the other teams the inconsistency of the other team and the consistency they've shown so far they look like the team that can just come out of nowhere and compete against man city it's beginning to look like blue versus blue even though there's leicester wearing blue but it's looking like blue london blue versus uh, manchester blue what are uh, Chelsea's chances of going from top four contenders, one, once upon a time a lost ship about five, six games ago, to top four contenders and then jumping from that to title contenders? To be honest, yeah, you already gave me away. I'm a Chelsea fan. Okay, yeah. so um, I don't think I, I, I don't think Chelsea stands a chance to win the league this season. I don't think they can stand. No, no, I'm not saying they'll win the league. Competing okay. for competing it, competing like for pushing. it, pushing, pushing. They can push. I feel like they can push, but when it comes to standing toe to toe with Manchester City, let's take 15 more games to go. Come on. Well, with what, with, with the way they've been playing, yeah, I feel like they are making headway, but I still would not. Um, put my hopes in that that they would actually really compete with Manchester City to be honest um Chelsea still have a lot to do I feel like the boys um what's his name um um Tammy Abraham um Timo Werner. Timo Werner is still still a bit shaky I don't know what's really wrong with him he's not scoring but he's been doing a lot of assists and all of that creating chances but he still needs to wake up one question I, I'm asking is I don't know what is happening why Kante is on the bench I'm still trying to understand the reason why he's still is he the starts, is the question the, the, the question that would answer that your question is is the team suffering because he's because not playing? Because he's not playing. Uh, well, in in some of the games, yes, I believe so. They won every game uh, and drew only one since to to came in. So, if the system, would you rather have him play like he was playing under Lampard and you were not winning? Would you rather have him play? What about the thought that this guy have overworked himself from Leicester to Chelsea to the World Cup? He's not rested. Uh, this is the time to rest him and then. Towards the business end of the season, you throw him in again. I mean, he needs some breather. Well, that, that, that's a that's actually a possibility, but you can't actually you can't totally. Twitter should not totally um, freeze him because you bring in a Kante in the middle of a game. Now Kante plays more of the FA Cup or um, the other um, league games aside the EPL. Which might make sense from what you said. Maybe he's been overworked and all of that. But at the same time, you still just can't rule him up, rule him out totally. Because I don't see any reason why Kante shouldn't be starting. No, there's this thing called fans fixation. When I when I was playing football and even when I coach, there's fans fixation. Once a player is fans favorite, uh, they always want to see that player on the field. I can get it. But well, don't, don't forget that a coach is employed to get results. Definitely. And, and whoever he gets, he brings in to get that result. That is a lot more important to the coach the, the man, especially for a club that does not hesitate to fire, if they can fire their legend, who is Thomas Tuchel Thomas Tuchel's job is not to please any player his job is, first off, and, and I'm going to borrow this from um, Precious Amosue his job is, first off, give the senior players and the team the opportunity, opportunity to fail, and he gave them that opportunity, some of them have grabbed it, some of them haven't grabbed it, now he's blending his team together, for as long as he's winning, everything is fine, I hope it doesn't turn out to be like Olegona Sosha, who goes like 13 games winning and then all of a sudden things start crumbling exactly but, that's what i think but, no, but, no, but foreign coaches and i'm not going to add Ole Gunnar such in the class of foreign coaches anyway but i mean it's up there way way better than any other english coach as bad as his result he's in second on the league table so he's still doing better than any other english coaches english coaches don't do well when you give them the responsibility of a big club so i think that two chances here is guy I know I'm not going to last because Chelsea's job is the worst job to take in the Premiership, okay, of all the top teams. I'm not going to last. Even Man City are a lot more patient. If Pep Guardiola was at Chelsea and he did what he did he last season, I fired him. But, but you see you see how they, they, they kept him, renewed his contract, and is rewarding them. So Chelsea does not have that culture, that tradition, and the fans have also been, you guys have been spoiled silly. So you behave the way you like. You are listening to a Legbeta TV radio.